Uh, let's solve this equation. What would you do? Take out, the take, out, take out the x's. I mean, uh, nine and nine like pow pow? <laughs> take them out? What are you doing? Um, first you, you add them like, yeah, you add Co like Combine like terms, terms, right? Yeah, that's. So on the right side, I have what? 3x minus 5. 3x minus 5. I know what you want to do. You want to put all the x's together? That's what you want to do? Yeah, that's what you want to do. So you're going to subtract 3x on both sides? Is that what everybody else is doing? Yeah. Yay, I'm finally succumbing to peer pressure. So what do I have? Oh, I guess they cancel on both sides, so I have 8 equals what? Negative 5? What do you mean, no? It's not 8 equals negative 5? Oh, Where is my x, man? <laughs> <laughs> Donde esta? <laughs> no esta aquí. So you subtract it, you get x plus. Right? Yeah, what's 3x minus 3x? X. Zero? No, it's not z <laughs> x. If you have three apples and I take away three apples, what do you got? What you got? You got nothing. If you have three apples and I take away three apples, what you got over here? Nothing. Set up. Well, let's think about this. This is the first time our x's, our variables have just up and they're, they're gone, right? This goes back to what we said about equations the other day. Equations can be true or false. Is this a true or false statement? False. false. This is false. Do you know what that means? Not true. Thank you, Captain Obvious. It's not true. We have a celebrity <laughs> in the house. <laughs> what this means for us, because we're trying to solve, we're trying to find solutions, we're trying to find rep, um, replacements of the variable to make it true, that means that there is no solution. That means there is nothing that I could replace x with that's going to work. Nothing. Okay. Think about this. I've got two children. They actually have the same birthday, but they are not the same age. They're two years apart. When will they be the same age? No solution. They won't be the same age, right? Unless we send one of them out at relativistic speeds, so there's time dilation, and one you know doesn't age as much as the other one does. You, you know, like traveling close to the speed of light. You know, talking, you don't. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. Uh, so they're not going to be, they're no solution, right? They're not the same age. But, since they do have the same birthday, it's just one birthday party a year. It's all about proper planning. See, that's what you can do when you're a mathematician. You plan things out like this. It's a time saver, really. It's like, okay, when's your kid's birthday? Oh, I got this one. How about this equation? x minus 10 plus x equals 8 plus 2x minus 18. What you got? What are you going to do? Cancel, Cancel everything. everything. Combine like terms. Let's combine like terms. So what do I get when I combine like terms here? 2x minus 10. 2x minus 10 equals what? That doesn't seem weird to you guys. Let's do what we did in the last problem. Let's go ahead and get the x's to one side. So if I subtract 2x and subtract 2x, what happens? Cancel that becomes 0. That becomes 0. And I have negative 10 equals negative 10. This is a true statement. Now, a lot of students want to say no solution, but if a false statement means no solution, a true statement should not mean the same thing. But what it does mean is that you would say all real numbers. Now this statement right here means that you can plug in any real number into the above equation and it works out. You can plug in zero, you can plug in 100, you can plug in negative a third, and it would give you the same thing on both sides of the equation. Yes? So, like you did on the previous one, with leaving the 8 there, and you didn't just go ahead in the very beginning, just 
Or like move the eight over as well. Yeah. Side, so just be equal to zero equals negative, negative 13. thirteen. Why? So you're saying it's better to solve each side before you can't. Well, it's doing it's not really going to matter. Like if up here, if I had subtracted eight on both sides to something like that, I would have had zero equals negative thirteen, which is still false. Likewise, down here where I have negative 10 equals negative 10, if I add 10 to both sides, I would have 0 equals 0, which is still a true statement. Right? So what this equation is saying is it doesn't matter what value you think of to plug in, it's always going to work out. Is that okay?